paradise, or what some people say, what's left of it. Close to 26,000 people lived here before the campfire. Today, officials believe it's as low as 500. We're in paradise close to six months since the campfire started. This used to be an auto repair shop, and as we were driving through Skyway, a majority of the town still looks like this. Even though some homes survived the fire, people say they're unlivable. The water is contaminated and people are living off of bottled water. Robin Gusti lives in paradise and survived the campfire. You live up here, you expect this kind of stuff. You have to be ready for this kind of stuff. It happens. Something she didn't expect was how she would be living six months later in her house left untouched by the fire. It's kind of terrible when you have to sit there and know that you can't sit there and cook with it. Or you can't drink it, so you have to get you have to go get bottles of water, you know, bottles of water. The Paradise Irrigation District is telling people to not drink or take baths with the water and use bottled water instead. About 500 water samples were taken all around town from burned structures. When the test came back, they found out 30% of those samples had benzene in it. Officials say benzene can cause anemia, leukemia, and even change the immune system. I met with Kevin Phillips, the district manager with Paradise Irrigation District, to find out how the water got contaminated. They believe water lines broke when the fire started and water was rushing out of pipes. Those pipes outside dry up, which creates a vacuum. Mm -hmm. That vacuum kind of sucks in the outside air. And so all of the contaminants from those houses being burnt or any meter or plastics that were being burnt get sucked back in. The district is still trying to pinpoint where it started to stop it from spreading. They're not sure when people will be able to use their water again, so they're left living in limbo. She's taking five. We went over to the Hope Center where they're giving bottled water to Paradise residents. Sean Harris says this is part of her routine. Our water is not safe to drink. So I, I come here a couple times a week. She uses the water to drink, cook, and make coffee. Thank you. Her home survived the fire, but she had to move to this property. So it's like, even if you didn't lose your home, you're still having to move into a trailer. Yes, yes, because of the water. A few minutes away at Robin's home in paradise. Bobo! The bottled water is also going to her cats and dogs. <laughs> Yay, come on, do you get a drink? Even though she says the water is an inconvenience. Clear, just like it was when we left. She knows at the end of the day, she's lucky. I don't think anything's really all the way sunk in with everything. I have my emotional days. I don't tell these guys, but yeah, I do. I cry. I cried today. For her and so many people who live here, this is a new normal and a way of life they're not sure if they'll ever adjust to.